Adam C and welcome to the Alfa Romeo stand at Goodwood Festival of Speed. Now this video is brought to you by carhuddle.com, the car show calendar. Now today I am in a loud shirt but you will see this show will change because today is tomorrow and I'm going back to yesterday. I filmed the video and my introduction, my GoPro corrupted it so this is my introduction for the video but I'm filming it the day after. So basically we start the video, me and my Cobra on my way to Absolutely Car's house to pick up a performance car pass for my Cobra to park my Cobra in the supercar paddock parking at the top of Goodwood and then gonna head down with Absolutely Cars and then McLaren 570S to Goodwood. So enjoy the video. So I am just approaching their house now. My hair's a bit messed up because lots of motorways uh, and I'll catch up with you when we're back on the road. Well, I'm joined with Scott, we've got their McLaren behind us and we're going to head over to Goodwood. Ready? Awesome, let's do it! <laughs> So I have parked up, I'm a little bit late, so I'm quite far back, there's a lot of cars in the car park, but it's nice to have my car on display here at Goodwood. I'm not sure if my GoPro caught me entering because they had a little malfunction, so I don't know if I caught any of that or not, but sorry if I didn't. <laughs> so I will be looking around the car park, but that was in a separate video of all my car park spots for all the four days. But I might just kind of point out what's just happened. A Ram Cobra, so another Cobra kit, has parked directly behind mine. I don't know if you can see it amongst the crowd. So this is a Ram Cobra with a Ford engine in it. And yeah, Pro GT. But this area is the performance parking, which basically means you pay a little bit of an extra fee to have your performance car parked inside the show amongst all the other cars. So it's a nice little touch. And the show mainly starts down there at the paddock. The main entrance is just at the top of this car park. And the paddock is over there. There is a hill. The hill climb is the main feature. F1 cars going up, you might be able to hear at the moment, but uh, we shall have a look at the paddock now. So we start off with the touring cars. Now each paddock has their own kind of sections. So we've got some contemporary touring cars. And we've got some classics such as this E30 M3 here. We've got an Audi S4 GTO, that's uh, something of a beast. These are the touring icons they're called. So we've got, got a Delta Integrale, Escort Cosi, Quattro. Ah, and a Subaru just randomly driving by. touring cars including this amazing Volvo 850 estate a big Volvo wagon touring car so low to the ground even the engine is ridiculously low to the ground opposite the touring cars we have a few missing cars there was Nick Mason's GTO here uh, we also have a Shelby Daytona Cobra Coupe we've also got the winning Ford GT Mark II this car won Le Mans we've got the uh, Charapel Chevrolet 2E which has the massive ring on the back this is the regular at Goodwood and we've got a few a few racing alphas as well and a few missing as well I think they're probably on track so we'll catch up with them later we've also got a big Ford Galaxy British Saloon Car Championship car sticking out like miles next to the Mark 1 Jag huge and some more quirky cars such as this Chevrolet Cheetah it's a naked brushed aluminium body looks ridiculous. We've also got a motorbike section but most of the bikes are out at the moment. But around here we have some of my favourite cars. Now I absolutely adore classic Le Mans cars. This is basically yeah, but... my my dream type of car are these cars and you don't often see them so I never film them but Goodwood is the only place I really regularly see cars like this. There's also an MC12 Corsa on the end there. We'll take a look at that. So here we have the MC12 Corsa. There's actually four or five of them here today, I believe. The uh, Goodwood Festival of Speed on the wing there. And further down, we have even more of my kind of favorite class of car, including this Nissan R90. We've got Lola's, 
all sorts. And we've even got some modern cars, including this Aston Martin Vantage GTE that's recently raced in Le Mans, which some of you may know I went to watch. So I saw this car race around Le Mans. Uh, yeah. Sorry about the crowds that are in the way of everything. This is the most popular day today. This is the Saturday, which is, it's been sold out today, but we also have this M8 GT, which also took part in this year's Le Mans race. But next door, we have two cars that I absolutely adore. We have the BMW V12 LMR. Such a spectacular looking car. Next to the LM BMW M1 in very interesting livery. I am a fan of the liveries. I think liveries is what make a race car a race car. A good livery really makes it good for me. Oh, there's Dougie Lampkin giving autographs down there. Are many celebrities and famous faces around. That is Dougie Lampkin. He is a off-road dirt bike stunt rider. I'm not sure the entire exact term, but yes, there's many famous faces. Now this year is celebrating 70 years of Porsche. So there are a lot of Porsches today, and I've recently become obsessed with the Porsche racing brand. Not necessarily the road cars, but there are a few road cars here, including Carrera GT and a 918 and the 959, all in a lineup. There are 993 Turbo as well. These have been brought here by the Porsche Museum over in Germany. But uh, over there we've got some Porsche race cars, which I'll have a look in a bit. But we've also got Martini. Martini have a tent. We've got old Lancia Delsas, an 037, and a Beta Monte Carlo Turbo, rally cars, and Pikes Peak. We've got Focus WRCs and a few Carrera RSRs along here. Trying to work around the crowds. I love a good delivery. And then further down the line we have this flat nose 935, nicknamed Moby Dick very famous car this one and over here we have the Porsche section which I've been looking forward to seeing so as well as 911s and a GT2 Evo that unfortunately is not here we've got the 962 Le Mans car and a 993 Turbo and two of my favorite cars in the world we've got two Porsche 996 GT1s so this is the GT1 Evo which was made kind of to road specification and then back to race car just a bit less mental than the original 911 GT1 and a man's about to walk in front of Thank you very much, good sir. So this is the classic Le Mans car. You can see the nose is slightly altered from the flatter nose of the Evo, but I just absolutely adore these cars. We've got an LMP2000, we've got 911, 906, GT3 RS Le Mans car, and we've got the classic famous RS Spider in yellow DHL livery. As well as that, we've got a more modern GT3 Cup, which ran in Le Mans this year as well. Oh, and here is where the driver's enclosure is, and uh, yet more famous faces, such as, let's get a line down there, someone synonymous to the Porsche brand, I can't get a glimpse, there he is. Uh, well, there's, there's the rear of him, that is Magnus Walker. So being stopped by fans, Magnus Walker just casually walking amongst the crowds. Now, we have more Porsches and more crowds. These are mainly 911s, but we've also got some 935s. And we've got some engines on, I can't really talk about, yet more of my famous cars.
held this 550 Spider with the mid-mounted spoilers. All the aerodynamic testing that was going on those days before the regulations came and say you couldn't do stuff like that. Oh, there's a bike doing wheelies. There you go. Now that I have lost the dense crowd, we can have a look at the McLaren pack. So in recent years, McLaren have hosted a massive stand here with some of their latest and greatest cars. So we've got a 720S on display, as well as the brand new McLaren Senna GTR. So slightly controversial styling, but a huge splitter. Absolutely huge front splitter. There you go, there is the new Senna GTR. Before we take a look at some of the other McLarens, there is also a VIP section, and so Let's have a look at the VIP section. So look at me, the VIP. So you have a nice little walkway through some person's garden. So we have some scale models of some of the McLaren cars and, oh, fantastic, some champagne. But yes, I am a fan of models. So in the VIP section there is a 600LT brand new car, 720S, some champagne, and a carbon McLaren Senna. So here you go, full carbon with yellow accents. I think the door handle is probably... Ah, there we go. That's under there. Don't know how hard it is to get in here. This is... The buckets are ridiculously thin, all carbon fibre. <sighs> It's actually, I don't feel lost inside here, it's, it's a nice size. Yeah, there we go, inside the centre. You can also see the engine right behind you. You can't see much else, I mean there's a big wing there as well. And if you close the door, it's quite a light door. Oh, auto shut. The handle to open it is up here. There you go. So that was McLaren, let's have a look elsewhere. Further down you get to the main feature which is right in front of the Goodwood House. So this is the premise of the Goodwood House, almost like a turret there, and this year celebrating 70 years of Porsche is a feature with a collection of Porsches about 500 miles up in the sky. You can hardly actually see them from here but I can see, I can tell you now there's a Porsche 917K. Um, I'll, I'll get underneath it and have a look. So yes, there is a 917K, there's the 959 rally car, we've got a 911R, looks like a 356, can't quite see from here. There's a 918 and Alexander. the modern Le Mans car from last year, the Le Mans winning 919. So that was in front of the house. And over here we've got the hill climb, which is directly opposite going up the hill and we shall venture down to the Cartier lawn which is another one of my favourite sections. So here on the Cartier lawn there's always a collection of very special cars. From dead ahead we've got an EB110 Supersport but I've gone into more detail about some of these cars in a separate video so go check that out but yeah a very special selection of cars here. These are some 1993 supercars and classics. Have the number. No. We also have a collection of classic electric vehicles. Yes, these are electric cars. They may not look like it, but no, these were original electric cars. And beyond the Cartier lawn, where Citroen 2 CVs seem to have a major presence this year, we've got the supercar paddock. Now, I did make a video about all of the supercars in detail, so go check that out. But here is a brief look down this road at the supercars. So we've got the Apollo IE which is being spoken about over there and amongst the crowd there is a vast variety of cars. Porsche have their stand, the Garni have their stand. We've got the new Italian design GT R50. All sorts of concepts. Lamborghini are over there. The uh, Centenario Roadster, it's alarms going off. Someone should probably tell someone. We also have Supercars of London with his newly wrapped C63. And here is the new spectacular long tail P1 GT. It looks like it. It looks like it. It's also a Koenigsegg Regera, along with the RSM. Over here we have a collection of singers, including this reimagined version, and they've made a bespoke cushion for myself. There we go. Wow! That just happened. 
think I had the best seats in the house for that. And I'm now on the other side of the hill climb and you can see the Goodwood House is in front of me with the new Porsche sculpture. Now every year the sculpture is changed and it's a huge construction. It takes days to construct. Further down here we have the stalls where all the shops are and we have a Cobra. Now this is an original Cobra and to all those who ask if mine's an original, this one is uh, 1.7 million dollars so no I am not a millionaire mine is not an original Cobra this is the real deal and no I could not afford something like this there are all sorts of stores over here including Bewley who have bought a boat car amphibious car along and further down we have total head turners who have a collection of Cobra replicas and there's also this Evolution GT which is the Porsche Boxster um, in the style of I guess you could say a Pro GT. It's got 991 rear lights. It's still mid engines It's it's very very custom. It's a bespoke kit. Um, I'm not sure if I'm sold on it. It's got Pro GT style headlights. Uh, so there's there's different kind of kits here. Uh, ah, here is a Dax Cobra. Um, just like mine. And we even have stalls selling fencing and apparently tractors for all you fencing and tractor enthusiasts. Also every year we see Land Rovers doing silly stunts, showing off their capabilities as well as something for the kids to get involved as well. And further in, each manufacturer have their own stand and whilst these may look like permanent figures, these are all set up in the weeks run up to Goodwood. It's a four week set up and four weeks shutting down as well and we've got mini with a stand and on the top deck if you have a mini key you can get in and have some free tea and coffee so I might bring my mum's mini key tomorrow. Goodwood always manages to pick the perfect weekend it's always a scorcher the sun is always out on this weekend this is this is the the, uh, the UK summer weekend this is the only bit of sun we get and Goodwood has that and in this VIP private enclosure out the front we've got a Porsche and another Maserati MC12 Corsa just kind of randomly placed on the lawn here and amongst these manufacturer stands are a bunch of really weird concept cars I'm about to show you now first of all this is a French supercar called a uh, uh, whatever that is Prato this has a 8.1 litre V8 engine with 900 horsepower and over a thousand newton meters of torque. And this car has been engineered by the Force India 411 team and it is fully electric and has a gas turbine engine as well. So it's another concept that may not hit the streets but uh, if it does seeing something like that going down. It's pretty unbelievable. I mean, those wheels, are they really going to come into production? And over here is a Noble M500. Now this car was only released yesterday. It's got um, the Corvette C7 headlights, or at least that's what it looks like. It's very, very pointy front end. And this is the Eden Green Black Krillin. It's uh, got that pearlescent paint job that TVRs are famous for. It's also got a 6 litre V12. And now you join me in the BMW section where we have the new Z4 concept, which apparently will share a platform with the new Super. That's just rumour, but uh, it does look special. Nice. Uh, development from the old one and it's equally as sleek from the rear. Now the best thing about the Goodwood Festival Speed is some of the best cars in the world turn up. I never thought I'd actually see one of these but uh, this is the Mercedes Project 1 and I am a fan. I am a big fan of that. Especially the huge fin at the rear although it does look like the Koenigsegg Regera from the rear. So it's a shame we can't get up close to that. Oh, a uh, wild appearance from Robert Kubica. Even, even now, I... And further up here we have the Formula One paddocks. We've got some of the last year's F1 cars all being crowded around. And finally, this is the Goodwood Hill Climb, a 1.16 mile straight with the record being held by Nick Heidfeld in 1999 of 41.6 seconds. So here it is. It's now time for the annual kind of party and she has dressed up to impress. So it's the end of the day and loads of people are taking a picture of my car next to Absolutely Cars' McLaren and a Corvette Stingray. And that was pretty much it. I am back at the Cobra with Absolutely Cars McLaren. We're going to do a, a gentle cruise back. All the 275 GTB replica, the NART replica is leaving. So I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. But for now, thanks for watching.